Well, here it is. It's finally in the uh, Mint Miner 2. When the Mint Miner arrived, I carried it into the apartment. It was very heavy, and I quickly wanted to open it up and do this unboxing video. So it says here, do not operate the rig before removing all of the packaging material inside the rig. So I covered up the table, and then I removed the four screws holding on the lid. And you can see there's venting front and back on this really great airflow. So I pull off the lid and... And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Graphics cards. The... I don't know which ones they are. And then you can see the motherboard that has all of the extenders going out to the graphics cards. Pretty basic CPU it looks like and not a really not a monster cooling fan for the CPU part. And then we have the 1300 watt power supply hooked up to everything and it's really wired nicely. Everything's all tied together nicely. Really tight setup, really looks great. I'm certain that if I had tried to do anything like this, it would have been pretty hokey. Not bad now. It's to uh, plug it in and fire it up. So here we are with the first test to turn on this mining machine. I've got everything all connected up here, sort of set on its side, and there are some more pieces to this machine here. It's clearly made to be used for a large mining farm where they have many many computers all lined up. So this is the price of Bitcoin right now. Crazy. Now I'm going to turn this thing on and see what actually happens. Well, they use lots of power. What's going on here? And here we are looking at the temporary home for my new Mint Miner. It's up and running and after a lot of tech support from uh, Lawrence, the uh, designer and builder of the machine itself, we went through and tested each individual card and four out of the seven cards are running right now. And we're going to replace three of those cards and get them up and going. And I'm very, very happy with the support that I got and the education that I got. It was fantastic. I, it was well worth the uh, fee for the entire miner just to learn everything I did from Lawrence, who is a very experienced miner. So when I first set this thing up, I hooked up my monitor and my mouse and keyboard to it and nothing turned on, but it's not set up to work that way. It's not, it's set up to remote in to the computer and it doesn't need a monitor, mouse and keyboard hooked up to it, which is fantastic. Right now it's set up with um, wired in to the local area network and I've also added on this eight terabyte hard drive here and I'm setting up storage share on this mining computer as well. So later I'm going to purchase a wireless dongle to put in here and that's going to, I think it's going to enable the unit to work and run wirelessly and then I'll stick it away in a closet and let it run. It's actually not that noisy and there's nothing to do with it once it's up and running. Now let's go take a look at the uh, screen and I'll show you how much it's earning and what kind of hash rate this thing is getting right now running at four-sevenths capacity. And here we are logged in to the Mint Miner. First time taking a look at it here and sharing the details. I haven't done any changes on the computer from the setup that I was left with with um, 
Lawrence, except that I am starting to add on the storage share and get that set up. So you can see here the fan is running 61, 52, 77%. 69 76 degrees celsius and i'm just watching this the 76 degrees celsius and 77 percent is interesting i'll have to go and take a look at that card actually maybe it's the spacing isn't the same between that and the other cards so you can see it's hashing at uh, 107 113 and it's pretty steady at that i can go over here to ethermine.org and I can see how much this machine has been earning so I left it running even though I've got to take it apart take those three cards out send them back and have those new three cards and replace them which is awesome because I get to learn about and actually do the mining machine setup and I like that machine the way it's laid out it's really great so here I am with the details if I go to the payouts round it's it's starting to level out now four hundred and sixty dollars a month at the rate it's doing now and I think that'll increase more as this overall average um, the next day or so as the average history is pretty much flat at 110 mega hashes per second I've set the payouts to be sent to me every one ethereum so every 10 days thereabouts it will send me an Ethereum coin, which I will be lending out on Bitfinex in their margin lending markets and earning or growing that Ethereum with compound interest over time. So I'm putting both mining and compound interest together on this money because and time, which is going to increase the value of Ethereum. I'm putting all those three things together with this earning methodology here because I don't need this money it can accumulate and I can lend it out and let it grow and I can wait and I can take the time for the rest of the world to catch up to ethereum and the billions and billions of market cap that is going to come into ethereum over the next five eight years who knows much what what is after that but now is the time to be racking up on this stuff because it does look like this is a steady method to earn these digital currencies and Bitfinex and um, Poloniex do pay compound interest on your lending over time. So these three things put together right now are opportunity to take a few little bits of money every week and really turn it into some fantastic profits. I can't wait to do those videos in the future, of course. So anyway, thanks again for tuning in. I'm going to be following along with iMine Blocks on YouTube and I'm going to follow his tutorials and I'm going to implement a whole bunch of different mining on this computer and learn all I can about setting up the miners, downloading them, um, configuring them and then getting them up and running, sending the details over to a wallet where I can uh, get that stuff printed out into a paper wallet and set it aside for time to pass. That's it for now. Cheers.